Hello, this project is going to be called Bugs. It's a project where you're going to learn how to do several things and your end product will look something similar to what you see here. So to begin with, we have Adobe Illustrator open. We'll go to File and we will choose New. Inside the new file, we're going to call this project Bugs. Actually, it should have your name first. then a dash, and then bugs. We're going to make this a size letter with 8.5 by 11. Inches will be our units, and we'll click OK. To start with, we'll come over to our rectangle tool, and we're going to choose the ellipse. Our stroke is black, our fill is white. We're going to start out by making the head. Using the circle tool also, we're going to make a second circle. This one's going to be an oval. This will be the body. I'll move this body <coughs> right over the circle. Now I'm going to make a few more circles. This is going to be layer one. <coughs> and that's where we'll, we'll call this bug. We'll make a second layer, a third layer, and a fourth layer and the fourth layer we'll call background. We're going to make another layer, we'll call this one sun. And we will make layer number two. Oh, when we get to that I'll decide to name it. But for right now, we'll just have these three. I'll move the background all the way to the background. I'll move the sun right in front of the background. Layer two, I think we'll put our name on there, so we'll call that text. <coughs> and sun will go somewhere in between. The sun is going to go right there. The text will be on the top, and the bug will be next. We're going to be in the bug layer as we work. Now, at this point, we're going to look at the oval tool again. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. I'm pressing the Control Plus so that you can see a little bit better on the screen. I'll choose and I'll make a circle. I'll hold the Shift key down to make it proportional. I'll make a second circle. I'll do the same thing with that. It'll be a little smaller. And the second circle, I will move inside the first circle. Now I'm ready to go with some other uh, colors and start to work this bug. So let's go ahead and start with the head. For the head, we're going to double click the gradient tool. On the gradient tool, we'll choose the gradient that's here. Notice this is going to be a linear gradient. There's a choice of radial and linear, and we're choosing linear. The next thing we want to do is make this into some colors. So we're going to double click on the slider. We'll choose we can mix or we can go with a palette. I'll go with a palette and my palette color I'm going to choose will be a uh, light green. On the other side I'll also put that light green. I'm going to add an extra one by clicking right below this bar and this one will be a darker green. This isn't on top, so I will select it. Well, actually, I don't have to at the moment. I'll use the, the second oval, and I will click on the gradient that we have open. Notice it's changed the color. I want this back to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to click on it, and I will make a little darker green and the sides will also be a little bit darker than the other color was so we'll change them there we go <coughs> now we have our body and our head let's work on our eye for our eyes I'm going to choose the gradient that I have here notice it switched I'm going over to this circle and I'm going to click the gradient. It's also changed. 
for the center. I want this to be black, so I'm going to change to black. I want to duplicate this eye, so there's two. I'll hold the Alt key down. I'll bring it over to where it's just touching. Looks like I got an extra eye. Since I don't need the third eye, I will move it in a minute. I'm going to just take and move this one away, delete the center, delete the outside, grab this one, move it over so that it's in line with the other eye. Now we have two eyes. At this point, we can go ahead and make our antennas also. Let's go to the brush tool, make sure that we have nothing selected for the inside and just the stroke will be selected as black. I'll bring it up, take it around, do the same thing for the other, kind of a mirror image, it doesn't have to be perfect. Back to the oval, let's go ahead and make a little oval here. We will make it black. I want to duplicate that so I will hold my Alt key down. I'll put one right here. I'll take the other one that was left, add it over there. Now we have our antenna, we have our eyes, we have our head, we have our abdomen, and we're ready to go on to the legs. I will do the legs in the next segment of the video. Thank you.